Hey guys, welcome back to the Barndo channel. I'm Charlie Downs with 1845 Barn Dominiums. We're out here today in Harleton, Texas to show you some progress that we've made on this particular Barn Dominium. The last time you saw this home, we showed you the steel framework and the beginning work of the sheeting for the exterior of the home. So now you can see we have completed the sheeting, the steel framing is complete. So now we're gonna take you inside and show you the wood framing portion of this build and how this floor plan is coming together. All right guys, here we are inside the living and kitchen area of our barn dominium. So we're gonna take some time here to show you how the wood framing is coming together on the interior of this home. I'm standing here in the middle of our kitchen area here behind me in our living area here in front of me. We're about 35 plus feet long here by about 18 and a half feet wide for this complete living area. And then we're gonna show you the master bedroom area with their bathroom also on that master wing we're going to show you the office area that they've included and then tied in with the garage area on this master wing is the laundry room and a hallway there for their entrance into the main living area on the other side of the house over here we're going to see the kids wing we've got bedrooms two and three on that side of the house and we've designed a jack and jill bathroom with hidden closets inside that bathroom area so let's take a look at the wood framing of this house so as we begin to frame up the interior walls of these homes, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna attach that framework to the concrete foundation. So as you can see, as we look at the bottom panel down here, you can see that these two by fours are attached directly to our concrete foundation. Now, as we move forward and we begin to stand those walls up, the question is how are they going to attach to the steel framework? So what we're gonna show you here is if you look at the top of these girts, you can see that we have actually gone in throughout the uh, building and attached two by fours to the girts that are part of our framework. So you can see two by fours that are attached in the corners here. And then what we do is as we stand those walls up, we are gonna attach our two by four framework directly to those two by fours that we've already mounted to the steel frame. So one of the other benefits of our framework and the way that we do it and why we design it the way we do is for our electrical and our plumbing as we go throughout the build. So one of the things that we do is we have our spray foam already sprayed here. It's not even gonna touch our wood frame walls. We are then gonna come in and run our electrical and our plumbing for the interior building. Now, say five years from now, you have an electrical issue or you wanna add an electrical outlet or move a plug or something like that. The advantage that we have here is we do not have to peel out or cut out into the spray foam. The spray foam is gonna have nothing to do with that modification. We'll be able to just cut a hole or somehow remove a panel here on the interior, access that electrical and move it wherever we need to without having to dig and cut into our envelope that we've created with that spray foam insulation. So it makes modifications on the interior or any problems or issues that might arise later, we can access those very easily with the way that we frame our buildings. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our video today here in Harleton, Texas. Uh, we hope that we've helped you out taking a look at the wood framing and how we wood frame our homes on the interior of a steel structure. We hope we've got some information that you guys can use and answered some questions uh, that you guys might have about how we build our barn dominiums. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can drop those in the comment area below. Uh, check out our Facebook page. You can like us on Facebook. Also, please visit our website, 1845barndominiums.com. If you would like some information about cost or anything like that, we have a button that you can push there that's request a quote and you can fill out some information and send that to us and we can get you a quote and we can reach out and answer any questions that you might have for us. That's gonna do it for us today. From all of us here at 1845 Barnuminiums, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.